Okay, so let's talk to Ada. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Astrogator. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. <laughs> Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Of course it will. <laughs> well, what are you going to do, self-destruct? Citizen procedures initiated. Please engage in airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in five, ah. four, three, two, one. Well, we're landed, stupid. You realize we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Ah. Is this Hawthorne shit? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Hawthorne was supposed to meet me when I landed. Hawthorne's dead, I'm sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. <laughs> Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. The computer's gonna I'm cry. I'm programmed to take orders Wah. exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Duh. I get it. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne, or you can't fly. Well done, uh. Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Oh my Unfortunately, God. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure. Oh no! And sad music. To make an emergency landing. No. The main drive's power regulator <clears throat> has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Okay. Ah, I doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting in the garage. Engineering skill challenge check here. Astutely Beach observed. Check. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Yeah, we're impersonating a dead Captain Hawthorne. <laughs> captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. It's funny. Okay, so we gotta go find a power regulator at a settlement somewhere. And I got a new weapon, the sawed off shoddy. Okay, cool. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> what are they doing? Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. Uh, so here we go. I don't have a job. After I patch up your friend... Oh, you got it all wrong. I'm Starship Safety Inspector. Oh, here we go. Let's do a lie check. Oh, by the law. I'm uh, so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I'd report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Okay. So, there we go. Got out of that one, and I got a bonus experience points for lying. That's awesome. All right, looks like we're going to our first settlement called Edgewater this way. Might be some enemies along the way, I would assume. So, I could go, I could go up, or I could go that. Eh, let's go this way. How's the game so far? So good. I'm liking it. It's very interesting. Of course, it just started, but it's basically Fallout with more modernized stuff in it. Because you know, Fallout was pretty out, you know, outdated at this point. Uh, well, I'm liking it. All right, now, yeah, a successful attack while sneaking will inflict bonus damage. Oh, let's try the shotgun.
not dying. Oh, why are they so tough? Finally. I get the feeling these enemies are too strong. I'm gonna die. Fuck. Those enemies are like super fucking strong, man. Either that or the shotgun sucks. One or the other. Okay. This is like the shotgun was terrible. This gun was pretty good. And th these guys would be too high level for me. And maybe that this is a camp I'm supposed to go after later. Go to go to later. There are a lot of enemies here too. Uh, Yomi just cheers. Says, so Phil, how do you enjoy the new Call of Duty? I'm a bit disappointed with multiplayer. Uh. Mechanically, I think it's the best Call of Duty ever. The maps feel more like mini Battlefield maps than Call of Duty maps. Frustrating, messy clusterfucks. I don't know. I haven't played it yet. I couldn't play it last night because the multiplayer didn't even work last night. All I did was play the campaign, which I thought was pretty good, but quite challenging and uh, a lot of visceral action, to put it that way. So we'll see. I guess I play tonight the multiplayer for the first time. I think they're saying that my freaking armor is damaged. So I'm at the Marauder Encampment. Dead. One left. I have almost no ammo, but I, I cleared the whole Marauder encampment. I used almost all my ammo. Damn. I got a weapon mod. Oh, nice. Is that it? Did I loot them all? What sucks is I can't see their bodies. I wish they, like their bodies were highlighted so you could be sure that you looted every enemy, but their bodies don't highlight. So I could have missed a body or two out here. Well, I killed all the marauders. You want me to shoot again? He said, sounds good. Looking forward to it. My current verdict is the maps are terrible, but everything else is fantastic. All right, I guess we'll see. Heavy ammo. So I get the feeling I wasn't supposed to kill those guys this early on. Yeah, this is my weapon. My weapon uh, durability is low and my armor is low. A lot of stuff there. <clears throat> Interesting. La 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 la. Nice piano soundtrack. Can I get inside this thing? 
No, it's just a big fucking box. Can't really get in it. Okay, what about this? Oh, there's stuff up there, too, but what's this here? A necklace! We just sell it. Sell the necklace. Oh, I can lockpick this. Criminal activities. Trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal activities and are frowned upon by society. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in these activities without consequence. All right. So I got Adreno and Extendo Sight. I think that was another mod, another weapon mod. Extendo Sight. Okay. I gotta climb this thing. We got up here. I have, like, no ammo, so I can't... Oh, I, never mind. I got a bunch of ammo. I had no ammo, but now I'm finding more. Here's another one of those Magno Lock things. Magno Picks. Which are basically Lock Picks. <clears throat> what do we got here? Mock Apple Juice. <laughs> okay, I guess that's it. Fully looted. Alright, so there's a town leader. Yeah, look, oh my god, look at all these items I got. I got a giant impact sledgehammer. Condition is 60%. I don't want this in my inventory anymore. But I don't know how to remove it. those in there. Okay. Alright. Continuing on, let's head to this town. <clears throat> my webcam blocks the text bubbles. Do my webcam blocks everything. I put it everywhere all over the screen and it still blocks though. So I'm not sure what to tell you. <clears throat> Try removing because it's not in slot one anymore. I can't remove anything. Look. There's no option to remove, right? No, all you can do is swap. I don't know what to, I don't understand the system. It's a little confusing. Why isn't there just a remove button? It's kind of weird, no? I don't know. Thank you to an anonymous cheer for a 200-bit cheer. I appreciate that. All right, here we are. The town of Edgewater. I guess I should put my uh, gun away. Look at the beautiful view in the sky. See another planet? Crazy, like a World Borealis stuff. There's crazy stuff going on. Look at that. It's another planet. Really cool looking game. The design's awesome. Alright, here's the bridge. The bridge to Edgewater. Well, Uzi Gohart says, I'm not owning the Peme Me. I'm a fraud. Gee, thanks. Here's a graveyard. That's kind of creepy. There's no names on the graves, though, right? They're unmarked graves. Whoa, hey. Where'd you come from? Huh? Running around in a marauder's attire. Mm, you're liable to give some people the wrong idea. Why do you say that? It's in poor taste. Dressing up like a marauder's disrespectful to all the workers that got eaten by him. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls. And low, low prices. <laughs> Never got your name on Darkside Phil. Did they pay you chat? Let's lie. Nice to meet you. I'm Alex Hawthorne. Pleased to make your acquaintance. <laughs> Glad to shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Who do I talk about? Oh, what? Who do I talk about about Power Regulator? Looking to make a little money while I'm here. Places like it's falling to pieces. Fancy title for a grave digger. Let's see how I'm looking to make some money. Got a knack for being discreet like? There's money to be made, long as you keep your nose clean. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting wow. means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. 
Some of our families become a might delinquent in paying their dues, you see. And that's why they're digging the bodies up? So because they rent they rent space to put bodies in, they can't buy it, they rent it from a corporation. If you can't pay the rent, they exhume the bodies. Wow. <clears throat> you want me to collect those fees? Four workers still haven't paid up. Look at this. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, <clears throat> and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Why is he a special case? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Where do I find them? Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... <clears throat> I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Something else I want to ask yeah. you. Okay. Shh, the town's a pretty bad shape that's keeping you employed. You lose a lot of people to marauders. Let's ask about that. Former people, yeah. Marauders been raiding my graves, you see. What? Hence the armed guards. Wow. What are they after, the loot? Oh, no. They are after the most precious loot <clears throat> of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. <laughs> if those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, company's gonna duck my pay. Okay. So... You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. Hmm. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. So there's a plague out here, huh? You're not worried about falling sick? Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. Who do I talk to about a power regulator? That's what we've been trying to find out. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. Uh -huh. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. There we go. Now I have, I have two quests. I have my main mission, but I also have a side quest now, right? Put the hibernation suit back on. I'm going to remove that because now he say, won't say that I look like a, a marauder anymore, right? <clears throat> now here we go. A grave matter. Says active quest. <clears throat> Let's see if we can find these people they want me to do this mission for. Gotta, you got to get the money from them, right? Edgewater Cemetery has been discovered. This is stealing, yeah. A model spaceship? Use terminal. Spaceship destroys property terminal access. Messages, inventory logs, and exit. Nah. So I can't if I steal anything here, I'll get bad reputation. Can't do that. Oh, what's that? Early retirement. You wanna end your years of luxury comfort? It's a stupid uh, magazine. I thought maybe it was like in Fallout when you read certain magazines you get stat boosts. Maybe you do, but I didn't. That wasn't one of them. Is there a door here? You can go up here. Was the commissary? Yeah. Oh, Mr. Power. It's a melee weapon mod. I don't care because I don't. Uh, Change damage type dealt to plasma damage. Thing is, I don't care because I'm not uh, using melee weapons. I can steal. I can open this if I want. Oh, what's this? A bypass shunt. I stole it. I wanted it. Big cartridge. That's money, right? An Adreno. Oh, sorry, I'm taking the mag pick. I don't care. I'm taking that shit. This is the toilet. That's what they shit on. They shit out in the open. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they don't have, like, privacy. Oh, I wonder what the hell's in this. 
Let's see. We're gonna we're gonna pick it. Ready? Let's see what happens here. I should save my game, by the way. I haven't saved a single time. Before I do this, I should save. Oh man. Before everyone fucking uh aggros to me. Uh Debunez just took me fifty dollars and said I love your fall playthrough, so the outer worlds is just as fun. So far seems interesting. I guess obviously when we get in town it'll be it'll you know open up more. But uh thank you very much for this tip. We haven't had a, a game like this in years, so this is actually quite fun. Thank you very much for that generous tip. Appreciate that, Debunez. Okay, I'm going to block pick this thing and see what's in it. A makeshift low pressure suit and a bunch of shit. Oh, man. Modificate has mods and tech skills plus five. Whoa. So it's my, it's my, it's the same as my suit, text field plus five, but it's way more armor and it has ability to mod. See that? Nice. I stole his freaking, uh, his air, his, uh, armor. That was certainly worth it. Okay, let's get out of here before someone sees us. Okay, into town. Going to Edgewater, we're going to try to find the people for this optional quest. Very nice. Uh, one button dash, I'm on normal difficulty. Hidden is backed at 110 bit cheer, so wondering if you had to get a job tomorrow, would you would you pass a background check? Companies not look at references, but they Google your name and people detractors will put a lot of negativity to your name. Doesn't matter. For a background check, they're looking for things like criminal record. They're looking for that kind of stuff. Yeah, they obviously would see that stuff on the internet and they'd ask me... But, of course, they're going to ask me about my previous employment anyway, to which I would say, I've been a live streamer for, you know, two and a half years. I've been a content creator for 11. And, sadly, there's just a lot of disgusting toxicity on the internet. And anything they could ask me, I could immediately explain logically what actually really happened. Um, but you're right. It would be it would be interesting. And certainly, yes, there may be some employers who would just be like, nah, I don't want to deal with that, you know. I mean, nothing you can do about that. I have a public personality that's going to follow me around forever, you know. Nothing you can do. All right, barber shop. Looks like everything's closed right now. Here's the barber, the barber of Seville. Merciful law. Is that a marauder's outfit? I don't want you wandering into my shop wearing what? something you've lifted off a corpse. I'm not wearing a marauder's Please outfit. Please don't touch anything. Uh, Your hands are probably crawling with germs. I'm not wearing the marauder's outfit. Physical hygiene uh, recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Relax, I'm clean. Your hair gets, here we go. I can show you my hands. I'll intimidate him. No, thank you. Nice. That's quite all right. <laughs> I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death. <laughs> Whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. So he's like, a, he's not like a, the, the uh, mortician. Even though he's a barber, he's a mortician, right? Here, so there's somebody to collect your dues. Thank you, Vulcan, for a hundred bit cheer, by the way. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. You mean you're broke? As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. I don't care, pay up. Your very loose definition of the word prosperity. That's some quality drama. You should audition. Don't be so hard on yourself. Let's say this. You have a loose... You have a loose definition of the word prosperity. Edgewater is built on the discipline and sacrifice of its people. Say what you will about our town, but we all pull together. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay, and that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Hang on, medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. 
Give Silas an IOU. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. I'll let you know if I think of anything. Much obliged. Maybe I can find something here? Cigarette lighter? That ain't gonna work. Heavy ammo. What does he have back here? His to all his tools. Here's the dead body. Spacer's choice dead guard. <clears throat> Bit cartridge, light ammo, and a light pistol. Letter from Phyllis. Conrad, reception has shot himself. This is bad. Company's going to have to call it for what it is. Destruction of Spacer's choice property. Eugene was an asset and someone has to pay his body price. This is going to ruin us. I was thinking we pawn off his teeth. Eugene had a full set of gold teeth. Heirlooms passed down his family. You're processing his body, right? Dig around and pry him out. Sell the teeth somewhere nice and quiet. Use the bits to pay his body price and nobody's the wiser. What do you think? Don't write back. In fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me a special signal when you see me. Wiggle your eyebrows. I wonder if that... Ah, yep. What can I do for you? So... Persuade one, I know about Eugene, why not use his teeth as collateral? Or ten, you sound like you've got some training. I know a thing or two about medicine. Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? <laughs> I guess you were trained in medical school. Experience was my teacher. Experience and... So, you want to be an embalmer. Brochures <laughs> one through five. Courtesy uh of the Spacer's Choice Department of Career Development. Okay. Now I can persuade him. You know about Eugene? How? Found a note. Then, you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. <laughs> he took them to his grave. Okay. I'm sure you won't miss them. They're probably worth a few bits. More than a few. Those teeth were his personal savings. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? You're gonna have to. Uh. Yes, I suppose I must. Here you are. Gravesite papers uh -huh. are fixed with my signature and an IOU. All right, so that one's done. One part of the mission done. Be the Colonel cheered. He said, talk to the Grave Robber again. He has a side quest. Anyone with an actual name or important people. There's side quests in the town and a companion. Okay. Well, I didn't even see the Grave Robber. I'll have to check that out later. Some of these houses don't open and some do. Halcyon. Wanted dead or alive. Look at these. Broody Cotton, Doc Maybell. Friend of mine died a couple weeks back. Looks like this is the law. Oh, goes, Constable know. Reyes. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in Frontier Justice. Leading brand in Frontier Justice. Promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. Wow. <laughs> if you need help with marauders, I'm for hire. As a Spacer's Choice Constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Ah, bounties, Cross them off missions. and bring me their fingers. Just Look one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. Okay. As questions? long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. Huh. Shout out to Will Snipe for Food, who has resubscribed for eight months. Thank you, Will Snipe for Food. Sending Phineas Wells in to you. 
Who do you work for, Spacious Joyce or Edgewater? If this is a setup to a joke, you should know I've never found anything amusing in my life. I don't serve Edgewater. Edgewater and the entire region of Emerald Vale serve Spacer's Choice. Because they own it. Yep. Who does Spacer's Choice answer to? Spacer's Choice <clears throat> is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which occupies a seat on the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, also known as the board. I must admit it bothers me that you don't already know this. <laughs> You're a bureaucrat. Flattery won't get you anywhere with me. The bureaucracy is a noble profession, but not all of us are gifted enough to serve in it. Does Phineas Wells mean anything to you? His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? <laughs> oh, no. We're acquainted. Looks like there's a bounty on his head. You're correct. An outstanding bounty has been posted for information pertaining to the whereabouts of Phineas B. Wells. I can tell her where to go. If the board's painting, I'm collecting that bounty. Unfortunately, the arrest of Mr. Wells falls outside my authority. Aww. I enforce the company policy as Spacer's choice in the region of Emerald Vale. Wells is wanted by the board. If you have information related to the location of Phineas B. Wells, you are required to submit that information to your nearest board authority. So who do I have to talk to? Any information regarding outstanding bounties and wanted criminals should be directed to Mr. Udom Bedford. Mr. Bedford's office is located on the Groundbreaker. So I can't do this yet. What's that? Halcyon's original colony ship. Yeah. Now repurposed into a space station. Mr. Udom Bedford represents the board's interest on the Groundbreaker. Something else I can do for you? So I can't read out the, so the doc yet to try to make money. Darn. <laughs> Darn. I would have loved to read him out and make some money. They won't let me. Oh, I want that, but they're not gonna let. She's gonna catch me. Bounty records or exit. So I got another mission off. I want to do bounties. Friend of mine died a couple weeks back. Still ain't past it. Can, can you rob these? No, you can't rob the trash containers. Like in Fallout, in Fallout, you could rob everything. <clears throat> some buildings open, some don't. <clears throat> Probably only the notable ones open, I bet. <clears throat> Excuse me. The maintenance division. For some reason, I can pick that up without stealing. Great. Yoink. Use the terminal. Trouble tickets. Turn on engine, try it again, try it again, kick the loader, curse injured toes. What the hell those are supposed to be pertinent to? Ooh, bypass shunt. Good, there's some optional items here. <coughs> this guy. So, a workbench has been discovered. Modifications! Yes, I now have a modification for my, one of my weapons. <coughs> So let's say I want to modify this gun. Install the mod. Oh, I don't have any. Nope. What do I have the mod for? I don't know. It says I have a mod, but it doesn't say I could have put it on any of my guns. Look. I wonder what the hell mod I found that I can't I can't mod. Oh. Okay, armor mod increases your ranged weapon skills. Okay. All right, increase my ranged weapon skill. <clears throat> nice. So I can increase the damage of my pistol by two. I'm gonna break stuff down that I don't want. I don't want any of this. Break down the freaking. Break down all these items. Actually, this one seems like it might be worth a lot of money. Sell value 25. 
They don't break down to a lot. Like, that one will break down. These are all worth, like, see, 14. So maybe I'll hold on to these. I'll sell them. Yeah, maybe I'll sell them. Okay. Where am I now? What's this? Like a hotel or something. Don't have the lockpicks. I need to open that. Find another one, I will. Okay. La, 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 la. I like the piano music. I wonder whose building this actually is. This I can take this without stealing. Cigarette lighter. Some items you can take without stealing and some you can't. I'll grab whatever I can that's not theft. <clears throat> apple juice. Mock apple juice. So food I will put that away. Just trying to loot. I didn't want to shoot. Another one of these bypass shunts. A shower. <laughs> Can't turn it on? Why not? I want to take a shower. Ah. It was outside. Oh, what's this? Some bit cartridges. Nice. Some money. Okay. So that's that. If I can find another lockpick, I can open the, the locked safe that's on the bottom floor down here. <clears throat> okay. Don't ignore the penne. I'm not trying to ignore the penne. The penne point uh, highlights, that is. I'm focusing on the game right now, so... And if anyone tags me, I try to, you know, respond. This, I wonder if this is the landing pad? This goes back outside. Well, let's do the things that are in town first. I see a couple more things in town to do. There's the cannery. Hey, What's over here? Motion? Oh, what? Heard marauders got in. Just between us? Wilson deserted. Lost his nerve. Ran off in the thick of night. Hmm. You're kidding me. Damn. Always thought he was made of sterner stuff. I think he was plagued. Guess he didn't want to die in the sick house. Plagued? Ah, oh, shit. I had some of the salt too. Duh! He stole his food. But he had the plague. Now he's gonna get sick. That's what he gets. Bionichu is wondering, where would I align myself in the New Vegas factions? Um, I don't think any of the factions sounded great. I thought they all had their own flaws and had problems. So, quite honestly, I don't know if there's any of them that I thought we were 100% good. I did remember I've done both. I did both Legion and uh, the other one, too. Here he is, Martin Abernathy. Oh, sweet merciful law. A marauder's in my domicile. Handguns, hand over all your bits. Please don't kill me. I still gotta pay my gravesite fees. Huh? Wait a second. I heard marauders don't talk much. You can talk just fine. Mr. Thompson sent you to put the fear in me. Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow, uh, bright and early tomorrow, because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. He's got plague. Interesting. Thompson didn't send me. Oh, here we go. Perception. Want to tell me what's so making you so nervous? You some sort of wandering alienist? Huh. Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? I'm positive you mentioned about being played. You don't know that. I could be saying anything. Maybe I said vague. You to... know how words sound a mite strange when you're sick. When you're sick. Wait, what an idiot. No. Oh, damn it. Okay, listen. Maybe I am feeling a little under the weather, but I swear I'm on the mend. Please, don't tell the constable. Why not? She'll toss me in the sick house. I would have confessed before the good vicar. Get some ablutions for my spirit. Just never found my courage is all. Hey, you're hale and healthy and... Possibly for hire, ain't ya? No, oh, here we go. Do a good turn for an expiring old man. How can I help? There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. 
Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Okay. You oblige <clears throat> me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. <laughs> it's in his spleen. Or else in his gravesite fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Look, I got my gravesite fees right here. Oh, give it to me. I'm good for my word. Get me that medicine, and I'll see to your payment. Okay. You're taking an awful risk trusting me, you know. I know that. But I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. Okay. So I gotta get this guy medicine now. We finished my quest part, but now we gotta get him medicine. Stole the bypass shunt. Okay. Let's see if we can get him medicine. So I don't know. A mistake working for Abernathy. Uh oh. What? Who's this? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Uh oh. Abernathy is a well known hypochondriac. Ah. Uh. is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. <laughs> Medical five, you got symptoms of something. You're saying it's psychosomatic. All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's uh he's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. <laughs> what do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Persuade. Alright. Uh. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. Abernathy's paying me. Can you match his offer? I'm paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. Okay. That's all I can ask of you. Level three! Just by talking to people. Okay. So, I have ten points available. What shall I put them into? Hmm. Let's see. Oh man, let's do let's do this. Let's get handguns up to ten at least. Because my handgun skill is really shitty. Um Screw it. I'm just gonna put it all into guns so I can do more damage with guns. Seriously. There you go. Ah! Anacleo knows you can command your companions and use their their special abilities. I don't have companions yet, but there you go. Companions will have abilities when I get them. So that's skills. Now what about perks? He says you get a perk only every two levels, right? So I don't get one this level. Okay. So what I should do, I should get the money... Well, I can't get the money yet. The only other person to get money from, I have to leave. All right. Um. Journal. Wait, journal. Landing pad. A supervisor in the cannery. Okay, get thee to a cannery. Here's the cannery. Let's do this first, the cannery. Then we'll we'll go straight to do the medicine. Figure out what I want to give it to, and then we can go back to the grave digger guy. And this is all side quests too. God remember uses every even level you'll get a perk. Thank you. Get thee to a cannery. Use. Up top. Vending machine discovered? Oh really? Hold on. There's a vending machine? Where?
Taste the freedom. Vending machines offer a variety of items to purchase, mostly from one company. A hack skill of 20 or higher allows you to sell items to the vending machine, which I can do. Restricted items on a vendor can only be purchased when you have high enough reputation with the associated faction or hack skill of 40 or higher. Okay, I want to sell. I want to sell my melee weapons. There you go. Nice. I'll sell the old, the, the hibernation suit. Uh, and the suit of mining gear. Sell that. I have two helmets. I'm going to sell one. There you go. I have all these weapon mods I can't use yet. Gyro sight, speed grip, and extendo sight. I have weapon mods for guns I don't have. Once I have an assault rifle, then I can put those on it. What does it sell? Looks like it sells healing items. Yeah, it sells healing items. I have 225 bits. And it sells things you put into your healing items. It sells weapon mod. Oh, it sells nice helmets. Look at these helmets. It also sells the the uh, mag picks, which I think I, I should buy. I have good armor. Yeah, my armor is actually better than that, so I don't need that. This one's a light armor type. Intimidate plus three skill bonus. Oh, shit. How much is this? How much does it cost? 110. I'm going to buy it. Intimidate plus three. And can I buy these? They're only 16. Yeah, I'll buy them. Buy them all. Nice. And the bypass. It's restricted stock, but I have high enough level to buy the restricted stock. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, nice. So now I can equip all my new stuff. Yeah, look at this. Standard troop helmet. It's going to give me plus three intimidate skill. That's excellent. Okay. Now let's go do the mission. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, okay, it's a stealing if I do it. Okay. All right, here they are. Here's the person I need to get the money from. Phyllis Granger. <laughs> you the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Guess you're the foreman? Foreman Granger. Mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. Wow. All right, I'm here for your gravesite fees. Oh, shit. Uh, so still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Nice. These papers aren't signed in your name. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. You have to pay for your neighbor's gravesite fees? If you're not familiar with board law, you ought to be. Huh. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. That sucks. She was forced to pay. He shot himself? Woke up one morning and put her round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between huh. the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. <laughs> That's an awful thing to say. It must be tough losing your family. Eugene wasn't family. They said we were his closest living relative. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. Wow, she's not even related. Him, you see, so I pay the fines. What the hell? Suicide's a crime. <laughs> the legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. What are they going to do, arrest his corpse? When one of your workers commits a crime, the entire town pays for it. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Huh. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. Would have? You didn't? Look around. Edgewater ain't exactly swimming in luxury. We can't afford to pay the body price of a suicide. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees. 
which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. Huh. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us wow. can get on with our own lives. So, if anyone in town commits a crime against the corporation, the entire town is held responsible for it. And so they didn't want that to happen, they basically filed special paperwork and they gained an exception, but then they still have to pay for his burial, even if you're not related to him. Wow. Interesting. Well, okay, that's done. So there's one more... There's one more of these gravesite things to collect. However... What the hell? Yeah. However, I'm going to do the other mission, which is get the medicine. Okay. Uh, how do I do that? I didn't botch anything yet. The long tomorrow? There it is. Retrieve the cask of medicine. Okay, that's what we're doing next. Put your gun away. What's your problem? Message in personal files. Phyllis Granger. I've sanctioned your access to medical treatment in the Vinicotagian. Password required. Ah, hack five. Bypass. I hacked. Theodore buried last night. Reed asked me to report his death to our quarterly. Sounds fair to me. Was asked to prepare a statement or something for the other workers when thinking about it. Don't know what to tell them. Don't know, like, Theodore, do your work show up, wear a smile, you'll get your medical privileges. Is that a start? So sometimes they'll actually be hacked files or, or password required files inside. I want that. Inside of a terminal. A toss ball blocker. It's just a melee weapon. Yes, yeah, sometimes inside of a terminal, you want, want to go further in to find a restricted file and then hack it to get experience challenge. Okay. Oh, shit. Nah, I'm not going to fuck with that because someone might see me. Some asshole might see me and be angry at me, so I'm not going to fuck with that. Look, there's someone sitting right there. Yeah. I'm not going to mess around with that. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here and find out where the medicine is. Over here. Okay. I'm guessing that's the medicine. Yeah, it's telling me to leave to do the medicine, so. Okay. Let's see. We'll be fine. When do I get the new office? What new office? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, a new office, my ass. When's my new house arriving? Oh, next week. They're bringing it in a giant new house on a, on a you know, flatbed truck. <laughs> oh, my God. Ugh. <sighs> I'm to the lighting I've been using. The sun's oh, away now. The sun is a very cloudy day today. So I have the lamp on instead. So that's why the lighting looks different. Alright, so they're telling me the medicine's out here. Okay. We're in a different part of the outskirts of town now, it looks like. Yeah, look, there's all kinds of different buildings here. Evicted? <laughs> Someone got evicted. Evicted. All these people got evicted. Oh, shit. Alright, I'm gonna save my game. I'm gonna save my game before I, uh... <laughs> before I continue here, because I don't know what's gonna happen with these enemies. God damn it. I need better guns. You won't die. I killed one, but I'm about to die. God. 
I only have 11 bullets left. And then I just got an assault rifle. Which is good, because that's what I need. Yes, I did. Oh, my God. Okay. Now we're talking, because this is what I have the higher skill in, too. Much better. Oh god, where the fuck? This is much better than the handgun. Okay. I killed a lot. This gun is super good. Full auto and it does tons of damage to these assholes. This is what I needed because my build was for that. You know? I was using the shitty handgun that was terrible for my build. And I wasn't doing any damage. And I could do tons of damage. Now I gotta find all their bodies. This is what's a little annoying about this. Is having to run around and find all their bodies to loot. items to grab this is all abandoned area these people used to live here and then they uh, were evicted or whatever right that's why all these marauders live here now what the hell someone's leg what the fuck I found someone's leg <laughs> ew I don't know why their leg exploded like that but uh okay yuck Pro Prime, dude, the battles have been tough. He says, people are complaining about it being too easy. The game, the combat's been tough for me. This is the first time now that I got this assault rifle that it got easier. It was very tough earlier. Having to always use cover and you lose a ton of health and have to heal constantly. It seems like it just got easier now that I got a better gun. I had both a shotgun and a handgun and they were both shitty. Yeah. Okay. Seventh Generation says it's a great stream. Thank you. You're welcome, Seventh Generation. I mean, I am enjoying the game so far. Learning, you know, I'm learning all the the various things, the various uh, systems of the game. I was gonna say this is a Marauder area, so can I just loot everything and not be in trouble for it? Yeah, I got weapon parts. Yeah, I can loot whatever I want here. Ah, I can loot it. What do we got? Heavy ammo, energy cells, light ammo, and bit cartridges. Good. Armor parts. Necklace. Bit cartridge. Heavy ammo, light ammo, bit cartridges. Grabbing everything here. Light ammo. Oh, and more lockpicking devices. Beautiful. That's a lot of loot. I like the taste of freedom. Looks delicious. Guys eating cat food. Hello, Joe. Things are going good so far. Thanks for asking. God, remember you, as long as people don't have direct line of sight, you can steal whatever you want. Yeah, just like Fallout. Just like Fallout, just like... In Fallout, sometimes people would be fucking psychic. You know you stole stuff through walls and shit, which is why I'm trying to be more conservative about it. Okay. It's a locked door. Oh, I can lockpick it. Oh, shit. I pressed the wrong button. Lock with the door. What do we got in here? Hopefully something good. What do we got in here? We've got some kind of a oh, another assault rifle. I didn't really care. I already had it. A lot more weapon parts. Two bypass thingies. I think that's what you used to hack or something later. So we got some good items, I guess. Arguably good items. More ammo here. Alright, I got some good ammo. Good stuff. Continue on to where the uh, health or healing uh, medicine is. Vincent Chiris, how's the game? I'm liking it a lot. I hope you guys watching are liking it. Not many people are interacting with me, but 
I'm immersed in the game, so it doesn't bother me. But if you guys want to talk more, please, by all means, do. I hope you're enjoying what I'm doing in the game. And you're not bored of the fact that I'm doing side content to start. But I figured, what the hey, it's a new game. Give the side content a shot, right? See if it's any good. Oh, shit. Yeah, dude, now that I got this gun, I can mow everybody down. I was so weak until I got this gun, and now I'm just destroying everything. This resident got murdered by this asshole. Mining helmet. I probably got a lot of shit I could sell now, I bet. So this is where I'm supposed to go for the cache of medicine. Can I go into this building? No, it says evicted. It's all locked up. Yeah. All locked up. Look at that view up there. I wonder what that is. There's something else out there. I'm not gonna fuck with that yet. This game is so Fallout-esque, seriously. <laughs> Jig wants us to talk to them. What's up? Yes, let's talk. What do you want to talk about? Fluttershy says I'm loving the game. Thank you for letting me know Fluttershy. There's some more houses up here. Before I, I loot the medicine, I figured, let's see what's over here. Oh, man. This looks like it's locked and I can't get it open. I need more lock picking to get in there. Or more lock picks. Whichever they're called. What are they called? They're called mag picks. Seem to be very important. Joe just sent me eleven dollars. Let's make it even six hundred. I only have to look at five eighty nine in Call of Duty multiplayer tonight. Yes, Joe, that is exactly what we're doing tonight. Since I could not play it last night, I was very disappointed. Tonight it's all Call of Duty multiplayer, and then tomorrow um, the main stream is probably going to be a split between Call of Duty multiplayer and campaign. Noodles, weapon parts. The hell is that? A dervish mist. Okay. What I should do... Oh my god, I have so many items. Look at this. I have so much shit. What is this? A Spacer's Choice Revolver. Oh, it's a small handgun. Yeah, it's a small gun. See that? How do I re freaking remove this? Unequip. There we go. Equip that in place. Um... Literally auto equipped some stuff, or did I put that bread in there? I don't even know. Here. That's already equipped. What do I want to add to it? Body attributes plus one. Natural health regeneration. This is the one that gives you all kinds of uh, ability boosts. What's this? Extra damage. Base health was 25%. Gives you more base health. There you go. Uh, Joe says, I watched your campaign videos on YouTube. Sorry I wasn't there last night, but time difference. No, I hear you, dude. I, I hope you enjoyed them. Like I said, that campaign kind of surprised me. I wasn't expecting it to be that, like, brutal and visceral. And having, like, freaking suicide bombers and all kinds of shit. Like, I was like, oh my god. I was totally, like, th taken back by that. I did not think it would be like that. I mean, not to say it's bad, but I was just like, damn, we haven't had a game like that in a long time, so. Another Adreno. That's for healing. Is it reading materials next to his toilet, like most people? Very nice. A bypass shunt. That's good. Light ammo. That's also good. I wonder if ammo has weight to it. So I want to open that eventually, but I can't. Yeah, I need more lockpicks in order to get in here. I wonder if there's anything good in here. Joe says, apparently there's a, a mission worse than No Russian from back in the day. All I know is there was a mission where both a, 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 a parent and then the child got brutally murdered right in front of the camera. I was like, uh, great. What the fuck? So I wonder, oh look, is there a back door? Because I saw, I think you could go through the gate over here. Yeah, see the, the gates destroyed? 
There's a back door to get in. Is there anything you can loot over here? That's an explosive barrel. Nah. So we're supposed to be looting the medical supplies. Here we go. Community, we're going to the community center to get the supplies. Okay. Spectrum vodka, a class for a glass for every class. How nice. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Joe. Last night was no chill stream playing that shit. It was no chill on that stream. I was like, oh, God. Every moment I was, like, shocked by something going on. Vending machines in here? Yeah, I think I might be able to sell stuff. So many items. Energy cells. Let's sell. I got a lot more shit to sell now, right? Yeah, all the melee weapons. I'm not using any melee weapons. Any any I see, I'm going to sell. The handguns are shit. I'm selling that. Peace wheel mining helmet. I'm selling that. The handgun. Fuck it. The handguns are terrible. I'm selling them now. I got a lot of items. Here's another. Yeah, mining helmet. I don't want that. What is this? A low pressure helmet. Oh, lockpick plus five. I will not sell that. But I will sell this. I have a million assault rifles now. Sell the shotgun. I have one, two, three. I sell the handgun. I have an extra thing of armor. I'm going to sell that. <laughs> yeah, I have three assault rifles. I don't really need that many, do I? Okay. You know, I can find a bench. I can now put... I believe I have mods I can put on the assault rifle. All right, I think I sold most of my stuff now. What about buying? What are they? What anything good to sell here? Uh, oh yeah, look. Buy the lockpick device. Buy the bypass device. Always got to buy those. So intimidate plus three, hacking plus seven. Hmm. It's good. I mean, hacking plus seven is good. Now I'll hold off on spending anything. Okay. <clears throat> Check the mods. I already have a bunch of mods. I don't want to waste money out of. Scoobula's resell for nine months. Thank you, Scoobula, for the resell. Yeah, I can't do the mods yet. What's going on here? My aim sucks. What was that? Corporation something. I didn't read it. I just grabbed it. Dude, their legs come right off. Ugh. <laughs> Freaking body parts coming off. Yuck. What is that? Oh, it's a, a weapon I can grab. Yeah, Sentry Saber I can sell. This used to be like a schoolhouse, right? Joe just did 100 bit cheer. He says, I got it on Xbox One X physical copy. There was an 84 gig day one patch. I haven't had time to play it yet. It was hard re resetting X1 X. It is a real issue. Um... If you're talking about Call of Duty, yeah, the game's insanely huge. It's one of the biggest games in history on consoles, so not surprised to hear that. By the way, thank you for using the Terminator Cheer Mo. Another lockpick, nice. Surprise! Ow! <laughs> that looked painful. He got a mouthful. A mouthful of bullets. The truth of the matter is, if the whole world was was controlled by these corporations, right? I guess the marauders could be seen more as people who just rebel and don't want to be part of that, that lifestyle. So, some people might actually see them as, like, liberators or rebels going against the evil corporations, right? While others might just see them as, like, wild hooligans out to cause chaos. 
That must be the front door right there. DJ Runo Chase, I cannot wait for the mods for this game. Oh, you know there's going to be an insane amount of mods. Just like Fallout. There's going to be crazy-ass mods for this game. Oh. Hack. Let's hack the terminal. Encode first aid key card. I did it. Thank you for choosing Spacious Choice. So, I got the first aid key card, which means when I go upstairs, I should be able to open the first aid room, I guess. That's kind of what they're alluding to. You gained the first aid room key. I have to find where to use it. Oh, this guy's just standing here. Paying no attention. Complete idiot. This is a museum room. Saltuna. Oh, shit. Fucking surprised the shit out of me. <laughs> I was looking at the, the nature, the, the the wildlife here. What is that thing? Primals. I guess they're supposed to be like, like, uh, gorillas. Canid. Supposed to be like dogs, only of course they're aliens. Coming soon, the Manta Queen. Well, they didn't finish it. This is a giant enemy called the Manta Queen. Okay. Should, should I give you to Toldar? to me $2.18 to have 20 Norwegian crowns. Good luck with the goal. Thank you, Toldar. That makes us up, gets us up to 602 now. Oops, not 620. 602. Thank you for that. <clears throat> Damn. Everyone got killed. They killed all the people who were in here. It's fucked up. There's a whole second floor I haven't done yet. Here's lockpicking. Oh, man. Should I go do this or not? Or should I save my lockpicking? My lockpicks for that locked house. I don't know. <clears throat> Messages from Rosenberg. I don't know. I'm just gonna ignore that. It doesn't seem too important. <laughs> All these items I could sell later. Bard use. There you go. I wonder if I got that open because I had the key card, or I don't know. Or if I was just able to open it by default. Oh, more lockpick items. I open the door back to the main hallway. Oh, here we go. I had the first aid room key. I go right in. There's other rooms back here, too. What's back here? Oh, this is where we started. I unlocked the locked door there. Cool. Here's the first aid room. Another lockpick. Dude, I love finding the lockpicks. So good. Don the Supreme did 125 bit cheers. I'm really enjoying the game. As you said, it seems like forever if we had a game like this. It's also refreshing playing a game under 60 gigs. <laughs> yeah, I know. It really has. It feels like it's been forever since we had a fun game with exploration, fun dialogue trees, side missions. So I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. Pretty good stuff. All right, I got it. I got the drugs. But we're not done looting. We can go upstairs. There's a whole second floor I didn't go to yet. Let's see what's up here. Joe just cheered and he said, maybe they should do that more often. Part of a game isn't done. Just put coming soon on it or an invisible wall with coming soon on it. <laughs> He's talking like the Manticore display or whatever it was. The Manta Queen. Yeah, why not? Coming soon. A feature that will be added later when we get around to patching the game. Okay, what's up here? Uh, a couple items. Mock apple juice or whatever. Food, a lot of food. Necklace. Oh, a guide to mechanical engineering volume one. I wonder what that's used for. I wonder if you use that if you increase your engineering skill. That's how it was in, remember, in Fallout. 
you would have, find stuff like that, use it, and you permanently increase your skill. I wonder if that's what it is. Let's see. Um, so I'm using the seven. Yeah, there's I didn't find anything better. I'm using this that has intimidate plus three, but I also can do lock click plus five. Oh, this is way heavy weapons plus five, still skills minus five. Meh. Still skill plus five. This is giving me tech skill plus five. I think I'd like this better, honestly. Okay. Look at those first aid shit I got now. Damn. Here's a mo weapon mods. I have six lockpick items now. <clears throat> Here it is. So the Young Spacer's Guide. How do I use it? I don't know. It's a quest item, actually, according to this. It's actually a quest item? Huh. Yes, uh, yes, Daki Swerve, I did have to turn down the, uh, the Call of Duty volume. It was super loud. Yeah, God Reverend Reviews says, is this for a side quest? So I found an optional side quest item I can use later. I didn't even know I needed it. Daz Feeder, resub for 12 months. Thank you, Daz Feeder, for a 12-month sub. Appreciate that. I think that's it for here. I think we've thoroughly looted this area now. So I have six lockpicks. I wonder if I can open that area that was locked before. The door outside. Because there's one ch chest in here I didn't open. I don't think it's going to have anything too good. But an entire locked building might have something really good in it. So I might go check that out. Okay. Oh, by the way. Oh, crap. I, dude, I lost track of time. It's actually time for our break. Let's go see if I can open that house. And then we'll... uh. We'll probably go on a quick break here. I completely lost track of time. Taste the freedom of Spacer's Choice prefabricated living. <laughs> yes. King Gogan, I am enjoying the game. Thanks for asking. I am really liking it, actually. So where was that locked house? Up here, right? I think I have enough lock picks. I think it needed six. I hope so. Yes! Okay, I need five. Let's do it. Let's see what's in here. Hopefully there's some good rewards inside. Oh my god! Well, look. A scorched journal. After seeing parts out of the industrial sector for a couple of days, I think I finally have everything I need to build my own flying death machine. Upon closer inspection, I'm not entirely sure if all the components will fit together. Okay. After a few hours of experimentation, things are starting to come together. I still don't have it down to an exact science. There's something wrong with the memory processing core. <clears throat> I immediately got two more lockpicks back. A combat drone. Oh! I got a plasma rifle! Now we're talking. Now we are talking. Remove this shit and give me the freaking plasma rifle, dude. Where is it? Whoa! It does 71 damage per second? I wonder if I can use it, though. I think it's 2 damage. Is it 2 damage to use? Is that what that means? I think so. I need to repair it. But I think I can repair it. It'll be, like, crazy good, I think. Because I have the ener energy ammo. Excuse me. Golden Colts at 100-bit cheer. Thank you, Golden Colts, for the cheer. Armor parts. What else do we got in here? Anything hidden? No. I guess it's just the plasma rifle's the major thing. I wonder if you can repair the combat drone later. Yeah, I gotta repair this gun. See, energy weapons can charge it for a bigger attack. Hold the attack button to build energy. Release to attack. Neat. So that was worth it. I also got two lockpicks back immediately, so that was good. Alright, so we gotta go back to town. And, uh... Well, actually, you know what? They said that one guy was near the landing pad. I don't know where the hell the landing pad is. Let me see here. Journal. No, I have to go back to town for that one anyway. 
So either way, I have to go. I'm going back to town. Either either mission. I'm going back to town. Okay. <clears throat> so I got the, the medical mission, and then I could go do the, the rest of the grave grave dude mission. Grave uh, grave digger, and then. I can actually do the story, which I've completely avoided, but now I got a bunch of new items that I definitely needed to progress in the game, so that's good. If I can find a workbench, I can put mods on my gun, which I definitely want to do, but I gotta find a weapons workbench to do it. I don't know what that is over there. Well, let's go back into town. Okay, back to Edgewater. I think there was a weapon workbench in Edgewater, right? I'm pretty sure there was a, a building that had one. Okay, very good. Very good. Whoa. That thing is ugly. Raptidon Rapt head anatomy. Ew, it spits. Projectile venom. <laughs> there could be some interesting uh, enemies in this game. Big D says, feels like an empty game. You do realize that that was the outskirts of the town where there was, like, the marauders. In the town, there's a lot of people. Where's the music? You don't hear it? It's the ambience, the ambient music. They've always had this in the, in the, these kind of games. I wonder if they were going to Fallout 5. Because Fallout 4 was a long time ago. We have heard nothing about Fallout 5. And that's why a game like this, I feel, is going to do well. Because we haven't had a game like this in so long. That's what people want. They're like, what the hell are you people taking so long for? Where's that weapons bench I found? Okay. Modify. Let's modify the assault rifle. Here we go. So I've got two different kinds of sight. This one gives reduced spread, so it'll be a more confined shot. It'll be more accurate. Extendo sight is going to give me massively effective range, so I'll be able to snipe with this one. See? Oh, man. They're both good. That's a tough decision. Do I want to be able to snipe from a distance, or do I want to have less spread so I hit them more? I might want to be able to hit them more. Let's do that. If it's a full auto gun, I think that will benefit more. Now for this, yeah, let's do the extendo sight on the plasma rifle. Okay, now can I repair the plasma rifle? No. No. Okay. But I can repair my helmet. Oh no, I need to repair this low pressure suit. I don't have enough armor parts, shit. I can tinker to increase the damage of my weapons. See that? I don't understand why it shows why it's red. I don't know if that means it's bad or that just means it's a special kind of damage, right? This will increase it even further. Damage to 90, up to 91. Maybe it's because my stats aren't, aren't good. Maybe it's because my stats aren't good enough to use the gun so I'm not getting max damage out of it. That might be what it is. Should I increase the damage of the assault rifle? Why not? I did it. Now let's increase the damage of the plasma rifle. Alright. So I modified and I, I messed around with all this stuff. We'll repair the assault rifle as well. Okay. Break down. Break down these pistols for weapon parts. Oh, I can break down the armor for armor parts, which is what I need. Okay, there's only four. I'll break that down. Only four, break that down. Only four, break that down. Only four, break that down, right? Now I can repair my armor. Yup, now I have way more than enough. Nice. Okay, cool. I'm, a, I'm, starting, to, I'm starting to get the hang of the system. Okay. I'm starting to understand. So, good stuff. So, there we go. Zoomed in pulse rifle. And the reduced recoil. 
assault rifle. It's got a nice little fancy thing on it there. See that? Fancy sight. All right, so now we got to make our decision. Who do we want to trade and the, the medical supplies to, right? It's safe. Good stuff. 